Yo, 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 yo. What's, what's up? up? It's, it's your boy with the goals, Chrome Souls. With the back, back with another, another episode of Bone and Bone. And, and I'm, I'm with, with my, my host. host. It's your boy, Post 90s, reporting to you live from the underground with my main man. It's your man, Oz. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. How you doing? Turn it up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, um, Post Post Nights Nights kick us off a little, little too sweet, you know. Well, 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 look what we have here. I could have sworn a couple episodes back that I said that this sweep was upon us. <laughs> Everyone looked at me up and down like I was some damn dummy. <laughs> but look what we have for us. It's Friday, uh, game four, and we got a sweep on the horizon. How do you feel about that, Chrome? How do you feel about the trader Kevin Durant oh, man. coming here and getting his get, leaving leaving that situation in OKC, which was a beautiful situation, never should left. Yeah, we're going even to a more sweeter situation and about to win his first ring. Well, once, once KD left, left OKC, OKC, I just lost all respect for him. But you, but you, but you have to respect him now. I respect, I respect now. Nah, I, I respect that, that he's chasing, chasing the ring. You know what I mean? But the, the performance he's putting on, but I don't respect, respect his decision he made to do it. Look at what the performance he's showing. He's yeah, every he's guy. He, I, 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 first, first of all, I should. I, I know, know what KD does, does bro. He's been on my team. That's just this this is nothing new. Him averaging thirty plus. Why nothing. can't it be water under the bridge anymore? It's, it's not, not water. Under if the I can make can't be water, not, under, water, water under the bridge. Well, well he stabbed. You still have this in the bag. You have an MVP though. So he stabbed this in the bag. You have the potential MVP of the league. But he left this dry. I'm not. He left the team dry. Wrong. That's wrong. Only people who's not even. I admit that he left this with. Who? I'm in the enemy. He's a Steve Adams, Adams who's a right. potential player. He'd be, he'd be one of the best big men. But you, he did also leave you out with an MVP in Russell Westbrook. Yeah, yeah, we have a, yeah. yeah. Could, could, like, like you say, you say he could be MVP. MVP. It's the potential. Yeah, he's going to get it. Why wouldn't he? Well, well the league, the, the, you see how the league does the Who do you think is going to get MVP, guys? Who do you think is going to get MVP? Honestly, I'm torn between Westbrook and Harden. But why Harden, though? You see the performance he put on in the playoffs. Yeah, he was in but, the show. But, but to be fair, the the league MVP award is mainly for the season. I hear you. Okay. okay. And, I hear you. and like, and when it came to the season, the, um, uh, well, what's and Harden were were neck and neck. Yeah. Right. But he was, but this man did average triple double for the season. Yeah. But that that's another that's another that's another that's another, that's another conversation right there. You know. Yeah. yeah. But I don't know. But these NBA finals right now, just, it's just proving me right. It's, it's amazing. amazing. It's proving me right. This is yeah. history breaking stuff. Like I mean, this history breaking stuff. For, for how long do we want to see this, though? This is the third show. Yeah, we want to see this for five more years? Yeah, yeah I, really I don't want to see this for five, five more years. years. I'm sorry, man. I but, don't want to see this for five more years. I don't, I don't know. know. I just feel like... Like at the times, times that it is now, you know what I mean? Basketball changed, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, it's more, more than down. Game is not, I said it before. It's fast pace. pace. Everything, everything comes at once. You know what Everyone's mean? shooting threes. That, that too. too. I'm, I'm personally really disgusted at the Warriors, mainly Kevin Durant. I don't, I don't, I don't care what I don't care what he's done now. I'm, uh, I've seen, uh, even if they complete the sweep, they're not getting any respect from me. Exactly. Because no, 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 speak, 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 speak your mind about the cows. Because. <laughs> <laughs> Because I, I heard a little, a little quote coming from Russell Westbrook that was commenting on Kevin Durant's performance in the finals, mm-hmm. and and he was saying how like these numbers that he's putting up, he didn't see this same Kevin Durant when when he was when he was on the yeah, Towards the end, he was averaging twenty plus. He wasn't even averaging it. But to be fair, which makes me think that he was, you know, well, was giving up. To be fair, Russell Westbrook has a key part, part in that because, because yeah, yeah. I, look, look at the shots he's taking. Selfish player. Yeah. 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 Like KD said, when he left, like OKC, okay, that was home, but it wasn't more. It, the, the team itself wasn't more family oriented. Mm-hmm. When he came to Golden State, soon as he came, that, that meeting was more family oriented than he felt in the seven years in OKC. So me thinking about it, like, okay. He, he, he grew up with his mom all his life mm-hmm. as family mm-hmm. so he wants to be around some good dudes that want to treat you like family mm-hmm. so I don't so then looking back at it I don't really blame him I, I, I'm wrong for saying he was a bitch the first time he did it mm-hmm. I'm wrong for saying that but on the other hand he's ruining the league yeah, yeah he's, he's ruining, ruining, he's ruining the, 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 the whole the layout of the basketball, basketball in general personally I, I, feel, I still feel that he's a coward for what he did 
because <laughs> because because you still, I mean I know people want to compare it to the situation with LeBron, but there's a huge difference. And Kevin Durant joined a team that eliminated him from the playoffs last year, Ooh, whereas, Le- whereas LeBron didn't. He, he, he went to form a, a super team, not 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 add to one that was, that was already made. That already beat you. They already beat you, and already won the championship without him. But at the end of the day. It was perfect for him because they had the money he's to give him. Well, well, you see, you see how he's playing now. now. It's, 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 it's like he, he, he's, he's a perfect fit for this. He's team. a villain. He's, he's, but, but he's a perfect fit for the, that's, that's, that's how they. That's how they think of him. This, this, is, this is this is a perfect fit for him. Oh, he, he, doesn't he doesn't have to do too much. much. And, and what he does is just what he does is easy. Really it's easy. It's easy for him with, with without them. Yeah, yeah. But with them, it's even more easy. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. You know, this whole final series has gotten me to realize something. And that's mainly the Warriors and Kevin Durant have, have, have at this point have gotten so sad and desperate to, yeah, yeah, yeah. to be LeBron James. Exactly. And like, like and it's not even about getting a ring. It's just, it's just about beating LeBron James. At the end of the day, and, and like they're just so desperate to to to, to knock the king off his off the throne. Off his throne. I don't know that they want to that they that they all want to band together to take him out. How can you say That's that? Though? Point, How can you say that though when they already beat him without Kevin Durant? Yeah, but you also have to I mean, yeah, yeah. But but listen, listen. At all, if, at all, at all aspects. aspects. If at the Warriors that. won the championship last year, we'd be saying the same thing if KD joined. Of course not. Of course yeah. not. But, mm, but, but like, but look, but now, now look, but now, but now look. You know, you know what I mean? Like, when, 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 when it's all said and done, you when they won the six, class won the six or seven. They won the uh, seven. Seven, seven last year. See, there you go, that right there. Like. But, Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, for that yeah. brief interruption. A little commercial break. <laughs> but we'll be back again. Talking, talking about, you know, the hottest things, things in basketball right now, the hottest players, players in basketball, basketball right now. The, the biggest game in the world, almost. <laughs> uh, almost. Behind goddamn baseball. Which o- only, if the, only if the NBA wasn't watered down. Yeah. It would be good, but, but fuck that. What you call it? Who's gonna win Finals MVP? Because the series is over today. Yeah, yeah. But, but you know, I'll give it to the person, person I hate to give it to. Because he deserves it. That man is elite. He's just I am on. Team. I am on the Kevin Durant bandwagon. Not the Warriors bandwagon, but the Kevin Durant bandwagon. I am on it. Right. He is elite. You know. Uh, let, let me, me say, say something, something uh, about <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's, there's no doubt in Kevin Durant's skill, but I, but even if they are gonna win it today, I can honestly say the only people that are truly gonna respect the Warriors win are Warriors fans and Warriors bandwagoners and people who hate LeBron James. Everybody else is not gonna respect the. Man, I don't know why man, they even. I don't even know why they hate LeBron James. Like, what, what is there to hate about a man who's went to a team, won back to back championships, and then went home? LeBron's a bitch. He went home. He's a bitch. How do you hate? Want me to elaborate on that? Yeah. Want me to elaborate on why people hate LeBron? I don't hate LeBron. I don't hate no man. I don't give a fuck what he's doing. I sleep well at the end of the night. I just don't. I don't like LeBron. I don't. There was a time when I did. But all this shit. He's he's ruined the league. Why? He's I ruined the league. Kevin Durant ruined the league. Bro, he started it. He started it. Mm-hmm. He left. He, if, if anything, he should have stayed in Miami and wrote, wrote it out with his friends because that's what he wanted to do. But then he came back home and f- formed another super team. He formed another super team. Came back home. And then you, you came back home after this white man that said some garbage about you and your family, dog. And you come back home. First of all, you're not. Your word is in your bond. Second of all, nigga, you're a punk. Third, you're money hungry. Fourth. No, you didn't want to do it for Akron. You, you're you money hungry. Mm-hmm. That's what you wanted to do. You got billion dollar Nike shoe contract. Why do you need to go back home? And that's just that's just the half of it, bro. Mm-hmm. This nigga's a flopper. He's whines and bitches about everything. He gets away with carries, double dribbles, travels, all that. This man cries and gets what he wants, bro. Let somebody else do that. You know what I mean? It's not fair, dog. 
you know, and, I'll admit there, there are a few points that I do agree with with some of the stuff that he does do, but there's some stuff that I don't agree with with what you said. Like, like as far as him leaving and shit, like the biggest reason why he he, he left Cleveland was to was to just get a ring and get the monkey off his back, cause it was all cause. Before then, it was all talk of him being good, but never be great because he, because he didn't have a championship ring. I'm sorry to and cut you off, but everyone says that, but little do they know that they was willing, they had the money to do whatever LeBron wanted, what they wanted him to do mm-hmm. that year with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Oh, yeah. All he needed to do was resign and would have brought Amari Stoudemire. Imagine him in, Amari, in Amari's prime mm-hmm. with a couple players around him, with the ones that are returning. That's a championship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah, true. Uh, true, but, but I don't know. A lot of people make excuses for LeBron. Like you said, like you, 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 like, you, okay, you people do make excuses for LeBron. You know what I mean? All the time. Uh, uh, all the time. But at the end of the day, this man is, has has been the tying of an era of his own. You know what I mean? Because it's like. He tied the arrow between Michael Jordan saying he's he's better than Michael Jordan, and then he's the new age player. You know what I mean? Like, which he is, because never never have anybody even in our father's age. You know what I mean? Time. You know what I mean? They haven't even seen true. a six eight mobile dude. That's true. But you know what I mean? We've seen a six Kevin Durant, a Kevin Durant, a six ten, almost seven foot mobile shooter and dribbler. You know what I mean? Like, come on. He is seven foot. He but Jordan also, also players. Jordan also didn't let like anyone get a ring. Like he didn't let Patrick get a ring. He didn't let. Shaq get a yeah, ring. You know, he didn't let these guys get rings. Yeah, at the end of the day, LeBron let Dirk get a ring. Mm-hmm. Freaking Kobe got a few on his way out. Like, mm-hmm. LeBron, LeBron, there. LeBron's slowly starting to get his rings too and just add him to his collection. Slowly. If he, and, and if he pulls this one out this finals and he pulls it out and, and comes back for a freaking three zip, he's, he's the greatest player, player, bro. He can't do that. There's no way he's, he's the greatest, greatest player, player, bro. He mm-hmm. did. He came back from a 3 1. You think you gonna come back from three zero? Hey, anything's possible. You see what happened last year. You think he's going on the 73, 72 and what? Seventy three and nine. Seventy three and nine, and they lost the finals. I, what? I just can't see no one beating. And they came back. They blew a three one lead from seventy two and up from seventy two and seventy three and nine. They're sixteen and zero, so that makes up for it. Uh, now, now you do make up that point, but. <laughs> but exactly what he said. Anything is possible. But but also, I definitely have to agree. If he can can like can win this series, there the there, 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 there can be no question, no doubt in anybody's mind. You, 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 like regardless of his record in the NBA Finals, regardless of, of all the times he has lost in the playoffs, this and then like this right here. Beating a super team who had you on the verge of a sweep. And then they got KD and still didn't finish that. Then there's there's no doubt in anybody's mind that he's the greatest of all time. Y'all giving the Cavs too much credit, right? No, I'm giving LeBron. No, we're giving LeBron LeBron, LeBron James credit because he has, he's proven. If he he, he does this, let's not forget if he does this, he's going to be the first player to go to two teams and win back to back titles. Oh, yeah. He went to the Miami won a back to back title. He can go to Cavs won a back to back title. He owes him he owes him two years of them. He owes him two good years. He's not he owes him two good years. He won one year. He owes him another one. He left for those two good years. The only way he's gonna win the chip in Cleveland is he brings Carl and Anthony through. That's well, shoot. Let's not even talk about Melo. But also, I already told you that he needs to do that same face. Because since he's not, how's he not staying face while staying in New York? What? He's not winning a title. But that's loyalty. Staying face. No, he has to still have to to save face. Oh. By going, no, not saying face as in. Yeah, no, nah, I thought you were saying like. You mean no. saving face. Yeah, whatever, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's what he said. said. But I'm saying. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I said, save, save face and go to, with LeBron and you just win a chip. That's what you should do this year, yeah, damn it. We had a chance. Well, I'll tell you what, but before we, we, we go further into that, and even if LeBron loses his final, he he he, 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 he can't he can't lose any, any credibility. Mm-hmm. But like I see no way of him being able to lose any kind of credibility. 
people who, who, who want to take his performance in these finals and try and throw it in his face, you really can't. Because even, even so, he went up against a sack squad. Exactly. And, and, and like, and, 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 like, and, like, let's go over all the, all the teams that freaking what, that Jordan faced in, in, in the finals. Sure, sure, he's, he's, sure, he, he, he's never lost in the finals, but, but he's never, he's, he's, he's never faced a super team. He's had a super team, but he's never faced a super team. All right, all right, before, uh, but, okay, that's a super team, right? So who, who are the stars on the team? Who? Uh, on the Warriors. Uh, Curry, Draymond Green. Oh, so Draymond Green is a star now. Draymond Green is a. But 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 any other argument he ain't. No, I said no. What are you no, talking no, about? No, nah, no. a lot of people say that nah. Draymond Green. Listen. Draymond Green was on a different team. He wouldn't be. He Listen, wouldn't be nothing. If he was, if he. Okay, I, was, I, I disagree with that. On this I disagree team. with that too. He's a star on this team. But if you're a star on that team, you'd be a star on any no, team. No, no, no. He's not gonna. He's not gonna lead his team to a victory. On a, on a team by himself at that, if he doesn't have those players that he, but he has on a stacked team like this, this, this team is stacked. He can do that. He can do that on the Detroit Pistons. Nah, I don't think so. You know, mean, you know, this, this might, might be, be a weird comparison, but I, I see him at like a, a, a level like mixed between Hassan Whiteside and Kawhi Leonard because his defense is amazing, and I think he he, he he would he would have what it takes to lead a team. I don't know. That's like Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson, too. So he's like, 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 given the right situation. Is it to the um, yes. to what's the name right now? Seventy six is what's the say? He'll average thirty. Nah. Yo, bro, he got thirty five in a quarter. You can't see it. Yeah, on a rare occasion, he not doing it consistently. Ain't that because he always came from behind the point line? Yeah, he don't shoot. Ever, when did he ever? He dunked on somebody last game. When? In the finals? Yeah. Oh, no. Probably Gerald Smith. Yeah, Dante Jones. Okay. He don't even play. He's exactly. a bum. <laughs> exactly. So he dunked on a bum person. I don't even know who he dunked on. Yeah. And that's rare for him. He's one of the best two-way players in the league. Nah, I don't think so. So who's the better two-way player than him? James Harden. Yeah, actually, Jimmy Butler. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Jimmy Butler is the best two-way player. I said James Harden. <laughs> I just didn't even say James Harden. Uh, <laughs> James Harden's a one, one dimensional player. Nah, well, Free throw line. Well, look what he did this year. Look what Clay Thompson did. Okay. The, the, this year. Exactly. So Clay Thompson had he had to share he had to share field goals attempts. Who? Clay Thompson. Who's who, 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 who on the team with? All right, exactly. And, and what would he do if he was on the team by himself? Exactly what James Harden did besides his assists. No, I don't think he would. <laughs> besides his assists? Oh, he's he tripping. I don't think he would. He's tripping. He he doesn't have a person he would, who else who put him on. Put him on. Create their own shot. Who else create his own shot? Who, I'm saying who else he's gonna pass to? He can create their own shot. Put him on the Knicks. Obviously, he went to the Knicks. He has Carmelo Anthony. <laughs> cool, man. But Carmelo put Anthony, his time on. is running down. It's oh, 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 getting oh, older. Wouldn't Melo mess him up because Melo's more of an ISO player? Melo's an ISO player, but Clay could also be a catch and shoot player. Melo's getting older. That don't mean nothing. Just like Chris Paul. Paul Pierce is getting older and he was still putting up buckets. What is that going to do? And Carmelo was way better than Paul Pierce. Yeah. And they're both the same, like, stature player. Like, you get buckets, nothing else. Yeah, you get buckets, man. How long is he going to be getting buckets for? Until he starts winning. He going to win. That's not his fault. That's not. I know it's not his fault. It's his team. But I'm saying, what other team is going to go to and make an impact on him besides? Okay, see. Okay. You can say that. Miami. Actually, no. I, I, I think, think on OKC okay, that might be a problem because, because, uh, because, because, because he, yeah, because that. Uh, pass it to him. That's his tennis is right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's his tennis is. Really this is God. <laughs> but I don't know. That's ridiculous. Where are we going on to the next topic of the show? Um, and uh, <laughs> really, <laughs> his government. His name. government. We want to say his Everybody government. Um, in in D League news, a uh, few more teams have been added. Um, the Minnesota Timberwolves have gotten an affiliate. Um, the Iowa Energy will now be turned into the Iowa Wolves. And yeah, Iowa. Yeah. Wow. And, and and their logo is like very similar to the Timberwolves logo. Except it looks more like how it was when they were first team. That's a nice logo. That's a nice. Yeah. Then also, uh, the Grizzlies now 
have an affiliate there now, no, the, the, uh, um, um, Memphis, Memphis Hustle. Hustle. Ooh, we'll see, see but, but, but funny enough, enough freaking, uh, but, but funny enough, the, the Memphis, Memphis Hustle, Hustle aren't playing in Memphis. Memphis. They're, They're playing, playing, I think, I think in, um, I, I forget it, but I'm trying, I'm trying to remember. But here, oh, come on, logo man. Nah, I don't like that logo. That one is butt. <laughs> that one is butt. That's what is that? Really like, what is that? It's, an, it's, it's a, a red silhouette. The, well, the, the Grizzlies logo. logo. And, and it just says the Memphis also. That is butt. Come on, Memphis. <laughs> and you say it's not even in Memphis? Nah. <laughs> That's whack. So what's the point of them being a D League affiliate and they're not nowhere near Memphis? Well, no, no, no. no. They're, they're in like the state under Tennessee. Oh, okay. And, and like, and like, and like the city they're in is like, it's either an hour or minutes away from 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 Memphis. And then finally, the Bucks are now going to have an affiliate next year called the Wisconsin Herd. They need to put. They need to put on. There, there has been. There, there isn't a logo. Per se, yet, but there there is a, a word mark. That's that's probably a logo. <laughs> Man, I, no, no, I'm praying to God if that won't be it. Watch it, watch it be. Nah, the only time I, I I gave that a pass was for the Grand Rapids drop, but but that's because their logo is a what was a, was a um. What was was a throwback to uh, the Pistons Bad Boys era logo? Except they got the ball in white. You know, freaking Gary Williams played for the D League. Who's Gary Williams? Gary yeah. Coach. No way. I swear. I swear, yo. You want to see his stats? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gary Williams. He was, he was, he was, he was the um, basketball varsity coach back when he played. Oh, that's funny. wait him. Yeah, he lives right on your. He lives on your block. No, no. not him. Not him. Yeah. He said, Did, what, did he have a bar ball numbers? That's messed up. Uh, actually, nah, straight up, I, I really fucked with, with LeVar Ball. He, in my opinion... Yeah, I like LeVar Ball. He, in, he, in my opinion, handled the situation with, with that one girl, with that girl, Christine Leahy. He, he, he handled that better than I would. Yeah, you know that. He's like, stay in your lane. <laughs> you need to have to turn his back to Stay in your lane. He's six seven. man. And, and, and I find it funny. She, she, she said that a reporter's job is to criticize wrong. And first off, you don't know, you don't know when, when, what you're what your job is. A uh, 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 reporter's job is to report, not to criticize. You have a right to criticize, but 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 it's not your job. And then on top of that, she, she, she thought that she thought that that freaking. Oh, is he serious? Come on. This is a basketball coach from our high school. <laughs> Come on, eight look. points per game. Look at his eight, eight, eight points per game. I mean, it's, <laughs> I mean, it, I mean, it, 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 it's better than the bar ball. Look, but, eight points per game. But he, he ain't got the money that the bar ball got. Well, over right, one assist a game, one point six assists a game. Of course he ain't. He, he out here. <laughs> I don't mean that. You got money. Do <laughs> oh you shoot like Andre Drummond out here? 29% from the G point. Ah. 32% in 04 though. It went up a little bit. What's the street that was that? It's actually was bad. It was 72. It was 72. Oh, that's not bad either. It was 95 in free 04 though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She averaged the same amount of points in, in both seasons. In both seasons. Like, how did you do that? He probably didn't go to the free throw line like that. Well, I don't know. In that, in that second year. Shoot, this is a high school high school coach. How the hell did it was? It was. <laughs> how, the, how the heck did he go from being a bust in there to being able to get coach, coach high school? Did he get injured? That's why he got injured. Ah, okay, okay. okay. We do. He got injured. I don't know what happened. I know he got injured. Mm, okay. What do you do? I don't know. Do I don't know. He, he don't talk about his career. <laughs> He's so nuts because he There's a that. reason why, why he don't talk about it. <laughs> you know that shit is cool. Right he, he showed us one tape of him in 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 um. <laughs> Really? Nah, in the high school. In high school. Uh, uh, I bet you that was. I bet you that was his only highlights. Yo, the people he was guarding him was like five ten, like my height. Uh, I'm like, yo, I bet that's you why you was freaking averaging 40. I told you. <laughs> you were like 6'7". Uh, <laughs> I, I bet you that, that was the only highlight. That probably was his only highlight. Nah, he's, well, he like, he's not, bro. He's the all-time leading scorer in baseball history. <laughs> 
What about Nick? Nick? He, he was six. Dad. He was six. Buzz seven. Was Buzz was number five. Buzz's dad number five. Number oh, three or something geez. like that. He's. Geez. I want to see his stats. He should have been. <laughs> he should have been over there. Yeah. Over this eight points. <laughs> he was better coaching him. Better than two points, two points, 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 points per game. Eight eight points. Those little ball stats. But they don't. They don't look at his JUCO numbers that he had. But, he, but, but even, even still, still, even with that, Lavar is still, still laughing because he he still got more breath than home than him. Um, how you guys feel about his son though? You think he's gonna be? I hope he lands to the Knicks. <laughs> I, hope he goes to the Knicks right. too. I mean, I mean, they're all dead set of, of wanting him to go to the Lakers, but but you know they said they don't see they, they said they don't see the, the uh, superstar in him. I don't know. I ain't paying no five hundred dollars for no shoes. <laughs> I'm paying no five hundred dollars for that either. Well, I'll tell you what. I definitely want to get that stay in your lane shirt. Two hundred dollars for those slippers. Yeah, you are gonna get that stay in lane shirt. All the freaking toes gonna come out of fifty dollars. Two hundred dollars. Shipping and handling. The shirt, nah. The shirt by itself is probably fifty dollars. Oh, the shirt. Uh, the stay in lane shirt. I don't care about none of that. I won't it's get about, none. Of, I won't get none. He said, "You, he said, you ain't a baller." Listen, I'm a small baller. <laughs> I ain't gonna spend my money on that. You damn right. I ain't no baller, bro. You damn right. Cause I ain't gonna spend my money on no five hundred dollars. That's dude. stupid. And your son ain't gonna get to the league yet. He might be. He might even be like what they think he's gonna be. He might just be. <laughs> you know. He might just be. <laughs> he might just be there. <laughs> like yeah, on some uh, Mike James type stuff. On some Ben Simmons. Oh yeah, Ben Simmons is gonna be there and get hurt. Take rest. Resting <laughs> in the summer league. How you resting in the summer league game, bro? Did he get injured? No, bro. He rested in the summer league game. Wow. Why, why, why would he do that? I don't know, man. Something you got to ask the brass of Philly. Because, I mean, first off, the, the summer league is there to, to, to help the, the rookies show what they can do. Nah, it's really there for the people that want to make the NBA or just like NBA in general. It's like D-League or something. Because there's mad, there's mad scouts there. It's more than NBA scouts. Scouts from overseas, all that. Ain't ain't gonna do nothing. I I don't think I don't I don't see Lonzo Ball skipping any D leagues. I mean any uh uh, summer league games like uh, Bum Simmons did. (laughs) He got three sons. He got three sons. Who? But one of them is bound to be good. The one that's coming up next is nice too. You know what I'm saying? Only Angelo. Yeah, six four big man. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like one one of them is bound to be great. One of them is gonna be a superstar. Yeah, superstar, definitely. I, I think, think it's gonna, gonna, gonna be the youngest one. I, I, think, I think it's gonna, gonna be Lamelo. You see that game? You know, even though he's yeah, in high school, I don't points even care. In high school. How is that even possible? You know, I, I, I find possible. You see the way yeah, he shoots, you see the way he yeah, plays? Yeah, he don't no. pass the ball. <laughs> I wouldn't even want to play with somebody like that. You know, I, I find it funny how, like, I see people stay criticizing LaMelo heavy when you got to realize he's still a kid. I don't know how you could criticize a kid, though. Like, uh, then, uh, that's what really puzzles me. I see that on Sports Center, like, bro. Because he's saying he's already committed to school. He's already committed. He's only like 15. I'm, I'm sure he's committed, but still, he's, he's still a kid. He's got to go to UCLA. Yeah, at least let him do one year of college and then criticize him. <laughs> yeah, if anything, yeah, but I don't know. Maybe criticizing the world for politics. Yeah, they yeah, basically, that. yeah. Every wow. Um, the sports was whack. I forgot who else's dad was like that. It was famous. Somebody's dad was like that. It was famous. What, well, criticizing everything? No, like, their dad would just be, like, more talkative than the son. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, do more talking than, than yeah, the like, son? Yeah. Oh, and I, I, I could... Doc somebody. Rivers and Austin Rivers? Nah, I'm saying that as in, like... <laughs> Who's t- like, nah, it was, I think it's like boxing or something like that. Oh, Floyd? And- nah, 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 Floyd's dad wasn't really like that. Man. I think it's like Danny Swift, I think. He's a boxer, man. He's on, he's on one team. He, his dad is like that. He talks the most and he don't really say it too much. Yo, I hate the, the point of the obvious with Austin Rivers, but the only reason, reason why, he, why he's, he's even starting is because of his dad. He's trash. Nah, you can't really. Come on now. You can't really even say that, man. No, you can't even say that, bro. He's trash. You can't say that, man. You can't say that. I don't think he's trash. He's not trash. He's 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 just average player. He's a role player. It's average. He's nothing more, he's nothing more nothing less. He's that average man. He still should be starting. 
Why wouldn't he start? Every other guard on that team is trash. <laughs> exactly. You know when Raymond Fountain start? Raymond Fountain has been nice since Charlotte Bobcat days. Well, I mean, he, he, he wasn't that bad on the next. Oh, yeah, he had that one good year. Nah, nah, nah. Jamal Crawford, Chris Paul is always hurt. Yeah, it probably is. It probably is. Devin Harris was supposed to be the next big, uh, next big thing. It didn't even happen for him. He was, he, he, he was a one hit wonder on the Nets, and then that was it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. He thought he was a come back. Yeah, the guy who was a good point guard again like, when he had your kids. <laughs> yeah. Nah, nah. Yeah, he was I, nice, I, I think he, he was, was around there when Vince Carter was there. He came in. Yeah. yeah. He came in that yeah. Jason Jason Kidd trade. Dallas traded him away. There. To, for Jason Kidd Yeah that's what I'm saying That's what I'm saying nah, I think Vince Carter Got traded before Jason Kidd He went to the Magic When Vince Carter in 2010 Was on the Orlando Magic Oh yeah With the Peters yeah. mm-hmm. Hey yo Hey yo, Russell, Russell, I, got I got nothing But the utmost respect For Vince Carter And I think that's 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 How old is he 40 He's still playing That's good And like I, I just feel so bad That he's gonna Most likely gonna Want to retire Without a ring I feel he definitely Deserves more You better go to the Warriors <laughs> Yeah, like You're David, right. like, like David West. He ran Jason for real. He was just, he was just in San Antonio last year. Yo, what happened to David West? He used to be good back when he was on the Pacers. He got old. He got older. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. He was all but six five. Six six. I thought it was. I thought it was like six eight. Yeah, don't Brown, don't, don't believe don't believe everything you see on Instagram, man. Those Brown, dudes those dudes you. be faking their heights. Yeah, freaking Kevin Red is was saying he was six ten when yeah he was taller than Marcus Cousins. Who? Kevin Kevin Red. And then and then he eventually admitted that he was that he was really just seven foot. Yeah. Oh Mark, get off that man. I I think he's already in the wonder why that's what we didn't get fired. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to talk about that because I was just, <laughs> I was just bring right, right back down memory lane. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't want to talk about that. That's, that's, another, that's another, that's another, that's another. That's another story, story for another time. time. I, don't need, I didn't even want to say story because it's more than the story. More like a tragedy. That's horrible. <laughs> horrible. It was horrible. Oh, oh my God. But, but yeah, man, um. Enough about this NBA Finals talk, NBA basketball, all these NBA bums. Because NBA is watered down. It's horrible. See what's going on right now. So it's time to talk about a real sport, a sport that catches everyone's attention, everyone's eye. Everyone talks about it. A real it's, on, sport. it's on Snapchat stories. You know what I mean? They take over New York every summer. The WWE. You no, know? a real sport. Man's sport. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know about that. This is pro wrestling, period. Not even WWE. Because some people are just so blinded and so like stuck on WWE, yeah, yeah. they don't realize that there's more like Lucha Underground, ROH. It's, it's not sports entertainment. I think professional wrestling. I think, I think it's, it's just because like, like WWE is, is the biggest, biggest promotion. Yeah, that, that's, that's all. They, that's, that's all they see. Thing. Yeah, but there's better. Promotions out there like Re- Wrestle Circus. Yeah, yeah. Wrestle Circus is yeah, Wrestle yeah. Circus is low key better in ring. They don't need like to be entertaining. Yeah, entertaining yeah, wise, yeah, yeah. 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 just make the franchise everywhere in the Indies. Like they're trying to just go worldwide with it. Yeah, they're trying to monopolize everything. That's 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 not cool. <laughs> There's gonna be nowhere to go when they get fired from to, from WWE. Where is it gonna be to go? Like you know. WWE. <laughs> Right, NXT. <laughs> yeah, because that's under WWE. Yeah. So where's where's it go when they buy out TNA? When they buy out ROH? You know, when they buy out all these? Because they're a billion dollar corporation. At the end of the day, the wrestling is gonna change. What if they buy everybody? Mm-hmm. They better not do that. Because mm-hmm. you see, they bought WCW. They they got, they, they got enough money. money. Hey, when they bought WCW, that was like a curse for them because then it got they got them being lazy. 
shit because they didn't have no competition no more. Mm-hmm. They got no money, bro. They can do whatever they want. Yeah, they can't. You see how they got us and the merch line when we went to we went. Yeah, as soon as we went there. That merch line was crazy. The eyes we even bought merch. That's what it was. Yeah, like, they got us. And there's a stand. There's a stand on every corner, too. Like, yeah. Even before you walk in this shit, there's people outside selling t-shirts. Saying. It's not like, like they're always, they're always on that. They're not on that table. Yeah, 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 but they don't need because they're not. They're not. They're more of a, they, a, They're more of a sports side instead of a. That's instead why, of a, instead of a um instead of an entertainment side, you feel me? Yeah, but that's, that's why, why they don't need to. They don't need to. They, everyone doesn't need to be. Everyone doesn't need to have vignettes and promos. Just, what about just wrestling? What happened to that? I, th- I, think, I think it's, it's just because that used to before, happen. That used to be in the eighties. That's when wrestling wrestling was at its heyday. In the eighties, with all different territories, mm-hmm. just wrestling, no no entertainment. And that's why, and that's why you, that's why you're that wrestling fan that always complains when something bad goes on. When they try to, when they try to experiment with something new, like the House of Horrors match. Nah, I, I like that. that. You didn't. You say you didn't like I it. Like it. I like it. As soon as it was over, you was like, I don't like how that ended. I don't like how that started. I just didn't like how they, how they, how they try to make like a movie. But what else was it gonna be? Like like scary scary movie. Movie. What else was it gonna be? It's called the House of Horrors. I know, but they just um, oh, that, 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 that just shows why people, 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 people stop, stop watching it fake. fake. Mm-hmm. But y'all just want, but you just want to see entertainment, though, right? Yeah, yeah that, that, was, that, was, was, that was entertainment. That was a movie. It was a movie. That was a clip. What is a movie? That wasn't entertaining though. That was entertaining me. That was just like a pre recorded match. Like a pre recorded fake. Like, oh man, I was entertained, but I was also disappointed. Like when Bray Wyatt did the whole follow the buzzer thing and the light turned from blue to red. Like, I think it would have been better if, if, the, if, the, if the house caught fire. This, this is house 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 house. a great hook for a fucking neighbor. Yeah, yeah that's the thing. Nah, that's not gonna be. See, my dad's talking about bum ass boxing. Floyd Mayweather and uh, Conor McGregor. <laughs> Conor McGregor. Uh, that, that's entertaining. That's entertaining. That's entertaining. That's entertaining. That's It's not MMA. That's entertaining. That's entertaining. It's going to be boxing versus MMA. It's going to, it's going to, yeah. Everyone's eyes are going to be sitting there at the end of the day. I was going to watch it. It's going to tell you like the Mayweather Pacquiao. Nah, that wasn't even that bad. I think the thing was like the people who wanted Pacquiao to win. Yeah. They would have just won because the thing was freaking. They was aimed. No, 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 it, it, and then Mayweather might not win But it's not It's not It's a boxing match Oh that's what they're going to do Well they ain't And boxing is You know It's Floyd's element And sure And sure you know That's his element Yeah but You fight him That's like you said That's like you said LeBron Let me play you Let me play you Not really Because MMA Is boxing Ten times it's with kicks, grapples, takedowns. Boxing, you can grapple. You, he just gotta fight dirty. That's all you gotta do. Yeah, that's what he, like, do, the, oh, do, the, do the weird. Yeah, do the weird. Do the weird. You know what I'm saying? Like little. You know how to get close and shit. And they start. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just sneaking a little. <laughs> Sneaking a little jabs here and there, you know what I mean? I can't see what I'm doing right now because we ain't start rocking yet. But you know, sneaking a little, just, you know, jabs and shit, you know. But I'll tell you what, even uh, even if Floyd were to win, do you think this would this would mess with um, Conor's ego? Why? Nah, After that, he's gonna go right to the WWE. What the hell makes you think he's coming to WWE? Why wouldn't he? Yeah, why, yeah, why wouldn't he? People, People said the same thing about Ronda Rousey. Yeah, yeah. she's on her way. Let her do a couple movies. Let her do a couple yeah. movies. She's not she's talking, talking about, about it. Because she, she wanted to know what she wanted to do. She said never say never. Listen, all I know is, oh well, yeah. Oh, she said, she said, never say never. But man, we're gonna um, speed things ahead and just talk about money in the bank real quick. Now, you know me what I'm saying? Me that's gonna be a good money in 
a ladder match, you know, Money in the Bank pay-per-view. That's going to be good. Two ladder matches, you know? Now, before, before we get into anything, anything, I got to know, do you guys think that Money in the Bank is going to be better than Extreme Rules? Yeah, because we've seen no weapons. Mm. The only thing we've seen was a chair and candlesticks and someone go through and now say, let's see somebody go through the ladder. I want to see somebody bleed. Huh? Do I have to start watching CZW all the time? See somebody fucking bleed, huh? Huh? You want to do that? <laughs> I want to see that, WWE. Don't let nobody bleed. <laughs> we don't need to be in aggression area no more for somebody to bleed. That's, that's Warriors type, that's Warriors type way. But yo, what the hell is going on, SmackDown? Shane, I know it's a land opportunity, but Shorty Lana just comes up on the scene and gets a championship opportunity? I understand Naomi wanted it. I understand Naomi wanted it. Is it? Uh, but still, like I, I just feel like some. I feel like Rusev was gonna come back and just fuck everything up, and then he's gonna be in the Money in the Bank, and 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 and, and Lana's gonna win the freaking WWE Women's Tag Title. Like that's just how I feel. Yeah, yeah. But, I think Lana, Lana, Lana or, or, uh, or uh, honestly, yeah, Money in the Bank. Go ahead, I'll tell you. Oh no, Lana's not in the Money in the Bank. She's she has a woman's title match yeah, no, against Naomi. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you talking about the title? Then the title then the okay. title I feel like Natalya. She, she should win it. Why wouldn't she? she? Me, me, me personally, I want the men in the one. Yeah, I, I got a lot of favorites in that in that woman's one. I can't hear from, but the men's. Baron Corbin. There ain't no one going. Bro. I'm going with Sami Zayn on the face of America. Yeah, I'm going with Sami Zayn. Cause the face of America had the briefcase and the title, the, the United States title. It would mean more for the United States Championship. I think Miz did that one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He did. 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 Miz is an A++ player. That right now. Everybody say he's whack. People still say he's whack. People still say he's whack. You know what? That's all. Sit back and drink it in. I think, I think it's not going anywhere. And the comeback tour is upon us. And who knows, I think we're going to take that on them now, though. Like eventually. Like when the director. Elijah Samson? Yeah. 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 But yo, back to the Miz. The Drifter is commanding a lot of attention right now. You know what I mean? He has a lot of talent. He's fresh talent, new talent. And this is what I'm talking about. about. You fake, fake wrestlers, wrestlers spot monkeys, but you're fake, fake characters. characters. You see how he gets into character and shows you guys why he's a Drifter. I always <laughs> like whenever he always drifts while playing the guitar in the middle of people's seconds. <laughs> Let's talk about uh, this match with uh, my guy, Jinder. That's the Maharaja. Randy Orton retains. I'm telling you, he's not. He's not winning. the game. Triple H. He becomes the whole team. Nah, Jinder's winning that. Jinder's dropping that strap to John Cena. Yeah, yeah. Real, real, real. Real. I'm, I'm, get out of here. Are you so? No. Not, no, we should honestly just end this damn show. Hey, hey you know, CM, CM Punk, Punk baby. CM Punk is on MTV. He's not he's coming, coming back to WWE. He's coming back. 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 It's easy. Hey, maybe. <laughs> but on that note, let's wrap it up with another episode, episode of Ballin' and Brown on Baby. I hope you yeah. love, yeah. love, yeah. love yeah. it. I hope you yeah. feel it. Yeah. And I hope you feel good when you go to sleep. Peace and love, baby. And we out.